Hi, in this video we're going to learn how to access the Horizon View or the Virtual Desktop Interface, VDI, with an internet connection. Basically what this means is any of your personal devices, you're going to be able to access your desktop at Tulsa Tech uh, from anywhere with an internet connection. And so this is what we're going to do. Let me, let me go over this document first, kind of step by step, give an overview, and then I will walk through each step and you can follow along with me at that moment, and we'll get it set up for you, okay? So here we go. First, you're going to open up, it looks like any of these browsers will work. Uh, that'd be fine, just choose one of those. And then you're going to copy this link provided in that browser. If you're working uh, from a computer, and you've got this PDF electronically, you should be just able to click the uh, link, and it'll take you right to it. Then we're going to look and we're going to click on a Downloads button. And depending on your operating system, uh, really for Windows 7 or Windows 10, either one, we're going to use the same download. There's also a download for a Mac computer, and so you can use that as well. Okay. Then we're going to, if you're going to use, uh, get this on your iPhone or an iPad, you'll You'll click on this one to download. And then for the Android, uh, you're going to select the correct software for your device. Okay, uh, I've done it on my Android before, so the best thing to do is just to go to, uh, I just went through the Play Store for mine. You might be able to do that for your iPhone and iPad as well. And then after it downloads uh, the file, the executable file, and then um, the next screen that appears will be uh, that download, and you're going to left-click it, and you're going to download it, and it's going to do all that magic, right? And then after it's been installed and give it permission to do that, you're going to see an icon. Now, it may no, not look identical to this icon here, but it will be VMware Horizon Client, and it'll say, uh, it'll have that name on it, okay? Then what we're going to do is we'll uh, double click on that icon. We're going to add a new server, and this is the name for it view.tulsatech.edu. So we'll get that set up. And then once we do that, uh, we'll double click on the icon, and then you will, once we do that, then you're going to get a window that looks like this one here on the right. And if you are already using uh, and have been using uh, a, a virtual desktop, then you're going to see this login right here. And so what you're going to do, you're just going to put in your username, the one you've used the entire time to log in to a Tulsa Tech computer, and then you're going to use your password, same one that you've been using to log into a Tulsa Tech computer. And then once you put in that information and you choose login, then just wait because then the, uh, you'll notice on your screen uh, it'll start flickering and doing different things, and then it'll show a welcome, and uh, it will eventually, as you wait, you'll start seeing your desktop just like the one you see uh, when you log in on campus. Okay? So let's, let's now walk through the process. Um, I'm going to move this PDF to another screen uh, so I can use it as we go along. Okay, so here I am at my, uh, this happens to be my laptop computer at home, and so we're going to just follow the steps. So first of all, uh, we can go ahead and open a, uh, a new tab on Chrome if you'd like, or Safari, it said, or Firefox, or Internet Explorer. Uh, you can take, and you can either copy and paste, so I'm going to do a control C, and I'm copying this from the... Uh, from the PDF, or you, you should just be able to click on that link. But here I go pasting it, and I'm going to press Enter. Should take you to this screen, Download VMware Horizon Clients. Scroll down a little bit. Now here's the list we're talking about. We were looking at Ver, uh, VMware Horizon Client for Windows. Uh, VMware Horizon Client for Mac. Uh, here's one for the 
iPhone operating system right here. And then here's one for Android. And then underneath that, you can see the different uh, categories based on what device you're trying to do. Okay? So just take a look. But the one we want to use for Windows, either Windows 7 or Windows 10, you say, well, wait a minute, here's a Verizon a VMware Horizon client for Windows 10. We don't want to use that one. It, it, even though it says Windows 10, it doesn't allow the uh, functionality to work properly. And so what IT suggests is we go ahead and just use the VMware Horizon client for Windows. So move over here to the right and click Go to Downloads. takes you to the next screen, product downloads for Windows. Then you'll see this big blue uh, button with white letters that says download. So let's do that. Save it wherever you'd like to. Uh, find a place on your computer, wherever you'd like to put it, okay? And hit save. see in the, on Google Chrome in the lower left-hand corner, it's loading up or downloading the, uh, the executable file. If you're using another uh, system, uh, whether it be Firefox or Safari or Internet Explorer, it may be in a different location. But whatever you're familiar with, find that. And then we're going to just click on it to execute it. And you want to give permission for your device to download the client. And then wait for it to download. Now it should put a desktop icon on your computer desktop. If you're using a Mac, it may be in a different location, but you're going to be more familiar to that than I am because I don't, I don't have a Mac or I've never downloaded this on a Mac. But uh, just be sure to find where it downloaded and uh, place your icon. But for Windows, it should put a, a shortcut on your desktop. Okay? All right, next. Now we're going to double left click this Horizon client. Now, when you do, you're going to get this, di this uh, dialog box. Now, you'll see that I already have the server in, in my. Uh, window here, my dialog box, because I've downloaded this before. Uh, I can delete it if I want to, and there it is. So now I'll take a look. Now you can click Add Server. So I'm going to click New Server. And in this field, I'm going to type in view.tulsatech.edu. Remember, I'm using the PDF to get all this information. So that's where I'm looking. I'm going to choose Connect. And now here you can see the login. It's going to, I'm going to type in my credentials that I use every day to log in to a Tulsa Tech computer. So you do the same if you've gotten this far. Ready? And then my password. And I'm going to choose Login. And then you're going to see the pool in which you're placed in. This is something that IT has done. And so for our drafting students, we're in the pool 10-2Q. And so that's the one that we should double click. And when you double left click it, it's going to launch your, uh, start launching your virtual desktop interface. And when you do that, you'll begin to see your, desktop icons that you have at Tulsa Tech. You're going to have available to you all of the software that you've been using. You're going to be able to save files to your uh, home drive on the network. This virtual desktop is you actually sitting in front 
of your Tulsa Tech computer. That's how it works. Okay? And so let's look at this PDF again as we scroll down and more. And so I've taken you through all, all the way through to where we've logged in with our credentials. And then the next step, of course, would be to log into your pool by double clicking it. A couple of uh, items to note. Uh, when you're done, always log off when you're finished using the, the VMware Horizon client. Uh, if you just close the application, you will remain logged in, and this will slow the system down. So just like you would at school, go ahead and you'll click the Windows button, and you'll click uh, either shut down or you'll click sign out uh, to end your Horizon client session. That'll be very helpful. And so uh, also on the notes it says the most common fix is something is not working correctly or is not showing up on your desktop is to log off and log back in. Now one thing I would add to this would be once you log off, give it about three to five minutes before you log back in. Even though we instantly log off on our computer, uh, the server uh, is still taking a couple of minutes to completely log off. So don't get too fast on that. Wait three to five minutes before logging back on. The next thing it says is that your virtual desktop is actually located on a server at the district service uh, center, and that's what I just mentioned. Okay? And so you have the same access uh, regardless of where you are. Uh, I've mentioned before that I was on a mission trip in Belize one summer, and I had a, uh, a room with internet connection, and I had a uh, Microsoft Surface Pro 3, and in the evening time, I logged in using this virtual desktop, and it was just like I was sitting in front of my computer at school. Now, let's say you're logged into one device, whatever that device may be, and if you log in to another or different device, uh, it'll close any open VDI session, and it'll bring up your current desktop. Okay, so just know that. You can only be running one VDI uh, session at one time on any one device. So just make a note of that. Now, if you have any more questions, please contact me, and I'll be glad to uh, help you out. But I hope this video's helped, and good luck to you. Bye-bye.